If you want full control over the reverse colors, you can have it. SymmetryWorks has the color proxy feature exactly for this purpose. Here I have a simple two-sided gradient, like a piece of a tube. And I also prepared a little decoration that I paste right here on top of the tube. That'll be the motif for my pattern. I select it and press the Make button. OK, but the pattern of the same tube stuck together looks a little boring, so I choose to alternate colors. The horizontal disruption does not work very well here, but the vertical one gives me something interesting. Now, I wonder if I can improve the pattern by tweaking the reversed colors. I bring up the swatches panel and choose. Let's try something from the Kids Stuff swatch library. For instance, this rainbow color group. I select the group by clicking its folder icon and then choose the Use Color Proxy option in the Symmetry Works panel. The selected color group gets applied to reversed parts of the pattern. And you'll notice that Symmetry Works has added a new path to the pattern. That's the color proxy. And because the proxy is selected, one of the buttons in the inversions section highlights, and in this case, it's a color group button. With this color proxy still selected, I can open the appearance panel and see that all the colors from the selected color group are now lined up as fills on the proxy, which gives me access to any color that I want to replace. Let's remove some magenta from the color palette. I click this fill, open the color panel, and edit the selected color as usual. Now, because the color proxy has all the colors of the reversed art, I can also do wholesale color edits of the seed colors and the reverse colors at the same time. So I select all and choose Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. In the Recolor Artwork dialog, I can again edit individual colors. Or switch to a completely different color palette altogether. Priceless.